welcome to Tales of Honor Podcast, a podcast dedicated to telling the true stories of every recipient of the Medal of Honor. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Tales of Honor Podcast. I'm your host, as usual, Christoph Ambrose, and today's episode is episode number 353. I do have one birthday to go over today, and it is actually tomorrow's birthday. October 26th, 1944, Gary Luttrell was born. He'll be turning 76 years old. He is a former command sergeant major who received his Medal of Honor for his actions during the Vietnam War. So a very happy 76th birthday to Gary Luttrell. And that's all the birthdays I have for today. I will have one more for the entire month, and that will be on the next episode. So tune in to the next episode, number 354, for the last of the Boxer Rebellion for the time being. That wraps up our two-month window next episode. So tune in then. But for now, let's go on to episode number 353 for today's Tale of Honor. William was born on the 23rd of May, 1877, in London, England, and after moving to the U.S., he joined the U.S. Navy at the age of 22. He was a seaman when he deployed to China in support of the Boxer Rebellion, and his actions there earned him the Medal of Honor. The citation reads, In action with the relief expedition of the Allied forces in China during the battles of 13, 20, 21, and 22 June, 1900. June 13. Siege and six others were cited for their courage in repulsing an attack by 300 Chinese imperialist soldiers and boxer militants with a bayonet charge, thus thwarting a planned massive attack on the entire force. June 20, during a day-long battle, Siege ran across an open clearing, gained cover, and cleaned out nests of Chinese snipers. June 21, during a surprise saber attack by Chinese cavalrymen, Siege was cited for defending gun emplacements. June 22, Siege and others breached the wall of a Chinese fort, fought their way to the enemy's guns, and turned the cannon upon the defenders of the fort. Throughout this period, and in the presence of the enemy, Siege distinguished himself by meritorious conduct. William received his Medal of Honor in July of 1901, and seven and a half years later, he was a warrant officer and then promoted to chief gunner in 1915. William was the gunnery officer on board the USS President Lincoln during World War I when it was torpedoed and sunk by a German submarine on the 31st of May, 1918. He received injuries during the sinking and was briefly held as a prisoner of war by the Germans, who then released him to drift and was later rescued by the French. Fun fact, William was imprisoned with Edward Isaac, who also received the Medal of Honor and whose story I covered back on episode 87. William retired from the Navy in 1923 at the rank of lieutenant and spent his life in Massachusetts. Thirty years later, he was a member of the Honor Guard at the internment of the Unknown Soldiers from World War II and the Korean War at the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. William Siege died on the 24th of October, 1978, at the age of 101, which at the time made him the oldest and longest living Medal of Honor recipient, and he was the last surviving recipient from the Boxer Rebellion. The William Siege School in Weymouth, Massachusetts is named in his honor, and his medal, along with his sword and other medals, are on display at the U.S. Naval Shipbuilding Museum inside the USS Salem at the Four River Shipyard, Quincy, Massachusetts. William is buried in Arlington National Cemetery, Section 11, Lot 334-2. And that was a tale of honor. Thank you for listening to Tales of Honor Podcast. Head on over to talesofhonorpodcast.com where you can read these stories, see other ways to support the show, and easily share a story with your friends and family. Tales of Honor Podcast is written and produced by Christoph Ambrose, and theme song, A New Beginning, is by Ben Sound. If you have any questions or comments, you can send them to talesofhonorpodcast at gmail.com. And until next time, I'm Christoph Ambrose. Thanks for listening. Thanks for listening.